Okay. Uh, John Gotti was an uneducated high school dropout who was a degenerate gambler, who was a very stupid, moronic man, who was an ignorant, uneducated high school dropout. One FBI agent, quoting, said John Gotti was recorded betting on 20 baseball games. And he lost all 20, 20 baseball games. Then after losing all 20 baseball games, which defies the laws of probability. I mean, you have to be intentionally stupid to lose basically a coin flip 20 times in a row. You have to, you have to be the dumbest man on earth to do that. It's actually almost impossible. You have to defy the laws of probability in terms of stupidity to accomplish that feat. Then he says, God is a bleep bitty bleep faggot. Okay. John Gotti dropped out of high school. John Gotti was a degenerate gambler. John Gotti had no high school education, was a degenerate gambler, was a lousy mobster, was a piece of shit degenerate, okay, who was incompetent. He single-handedly brought down the, the five families in the 80s and the 90s. He brings all these mobsters to Manhattan, where it's uh, the FBI has line of sight digital signal processing in the 80s and the 90s. They could just look at you and record. Oh, I'm putting my hand over my mouth. Hey, I'm covering. You're not covering anything. Okay? You got electronic communications going off like firecrackers. They're getting plates. They're getting associations. They're seeing who is associated with who. Okay? You have all these people that, that the FBI had no concept was in the Italian fucking mafia in the five families. Gotti brings them out to his social club where a high school dropout who's a degenerate fucking gambler says, you come all out here to, here to me to pay homage. FBI sitting there with line of sight, digital signal processing, recording conversations from a distance, finding plagues, finding new associations, and then running new investigations. Gotti was the laughing stock of the FBI. The mob went blue collar and became the laughing stock of the FBI. Then, La Cosa Nostra, something that's not supposed to exist, he's, after in a three-year period going before a trial, a jury, two, at, two times, with the FBI being very confident that he'd do life in prison, he then says, uh, he's recorded, they get a, a, a microphone into a secure location, FBI counterintelligence, it was like their big thing, they're not going to tell anyone how they did it, and got past the dogs, and got past the security, and got a microphone into the social club, where he's recorded saying, I knew why I was there to do what I was th there to do, I knew what I was there to do, what, to, what I was there to do, and I killed the guy. He's recorded saying he killed a guy, where even with witness tampering, witness intimidation, and everything corrupt judges, they couldn't get him off the hook, he does life in prison. He single-handedly, as an uneducated high school degenerate Italian dropout, who is, could not pass the GED, so fucking stupid that he loses 20 fucking baseball games, which is statistically fucking impossible, takes down the entire fucking Italian mafia and gets sent to life in prison. Okay, I'm going to quote his son. I'm going to quote his son. Was that more important than money? This is a 2020 interview. He, he hated money. He hated money. He used to say, if a guy was saving money or putting the money away, and he was a street guy, he'd say, what's on his mind? What, what's he got planned? You know, at the end of the day, we're all going to jail. What's he, what's he going to do with that money? Okay, let, let me explain something. This is why you don't put uneducated high school dropouts who couldn't pass a GED who are stupid in front of uh, in charge of Fortune 500 companies. Because the company would crash and burn. An uneducated Italian monkey, that's why you don't do that. Does that make sense? Let's not have a high school dropout who couldn't pass a GED, who's stupid, who loses 20 fucking baseball games, run a Fortune 500 company. Like, if you're saving your money, you could invest in capital resources, human resources, financial resources. You could run front businesses that are legitimate. You could invest in infrastructure. You could invest your money in legitimate means, legitimate companies that money launder, the money that comes in from drugs that aren't dirty as hell, strip clubs that aren't run like shitholes. You could run uh, illegal bookmaking and gambling rings and have that money funneled in to front businesses that are worth millions of dollars and then money launder that money to bank accounts that don't exist. And then have an infrastructure and organization. That, that's something you could do if you were saving your money. 
Is, is, is that the way he looked at life, says the interview? He felt that anybody that really truly lived in the streets, not the fringe players, not the frauds, not the pretenders, if you really truly lived the life that John did, at the end of